Welcome back people, we got some more fishing North Atlantic for you guys here again today. This is Enhanced Edition. We brought the Andrea Gale and we showed that in the last video we did. We do have a playlist of just fishing, well of uh, of just this game. Fishing North Atlantic Enhanced Edition. I've been having great fun on this game. I started off with a very basic boat that it gave me for free. I then brought the Lenore boat and then from that I did a massive jump straight to the Andrea Gale. I absolutely love this boat. It was in an awesome film. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but that's what made me really want this boat more than anything else. I'm using deep lines, and the deep lines you can have up to 60 deep lines on this boat, which is. I don't even think I'm ever going to use that many, to be honest. I really don't. But today, I already started the process of putting the deep lines out, as you can see here. I put out 30 so far. We're going to obviously forward time and see how much money we can earn from the nets that we drop or at least trying to fill 30k. 30,000 kg of just pure ch pure tuna with, with a bit of luck. That's the that's the plan. So let's uh put out maybe one more. There we go. Okay, so we got 32 deep lines out there. I'm going to fast forward time now. Let's take the time forward 23 hours. There we go. And we've got a lot, a lot of fish on. We have a lot of fish on. Wow, this is going to be good. Okay, so let's get him on there. Get our crew member. There you go. Out he comes. Wow, this is going to be a serious amount of, of fish right here. I definitely reckon we're going to get to the 30k mark. I'm pretty sure of that. Oh, let's slow it down a little bit fast there. Ooh, there you go, we got it. All tuna. So I, I used heron, but I have been using some um, some squid as well. But I haven't really had much of the swordfish. I did when I first started the game, but since then, I haven't really seen much swordfish around. But I don't mind going for tuna, because of course that is the most... Uh, it's really hard to see it sometimes. No. There we go. Yeah, I haven't really seen swordfish since I first started playing the game. But I'm not too bothered. Tuna is where it's at. That's where I'm going to earn some serious money. So 960 kg there of tuna. For these videos that I've been doing of fishing North Atlantic Enhance Edition, I've been I've been making the videos a lot longer. Normally I do make videos for around about eight to ten minutes, but for this whole game completely, I've been making them so much longer just because I want to try and fit as much information. Oh, there you go. There's me talking about them. There it is, right now. There's the swordfish. Yeah, there it is. Whoa, that one was an absolute tank. That's what I'm talking about some tuna and we've got another sawfish there how weird is that there's me saying I haven't caught any or seen any around and then all of a sudden I get some cool that's in a really difficult place to try and hook that one I wonder how much weight that was uh, not as much as I thought I thought there was going to be a lot more than that 753.1 kg that's still a lot though that is still a lot I'm going to be very, very rich by the end of this, just by doing just this one. Those 32 lines, that is absolutely insane. I don't honestly believe I could drop 60 lines. Even if I upgrade the storage on the boat, I still do not think I could get 60 lines out there. That's way... Yeah, I'm not going to have enough weight on this boat. That's way, way too much. The only thing that is a little bit tricky on this boat, on the Andrea Gale, is when you're hooking the fish. This um, big green thing here, the line puller, is really in the way. It does make it a little, a little difficult. 904 in there. That weren't bad. There's no... I don't even think I'm going to be able to pull in these 30. There's going to be way too much. Way too much fish. But I am going to do it though until until she's full. 
Oh, went a little fast there. Back it up, back it up. There we go. Is that swordfish? Tuna. Oh, the, the sound effect of the rain, that sounds good. Don't think I've ever heard that before. It's really quiet, but I can hear it just. Oh, that one looked quite chunky. 968 kilograms there. Look at this boat. This boat is an absolute beast. This is a proper fishing boat for sure. Slow it down. So I did buy the... When I first brought this boat, I did obviously... Ma I made a video of it. And I did upgrade the engine. I uh, upgraded a ton of bait lines, or deep lines, should I say. Uh, upgraded the searchlight. Upgraded uh, fish sonar and the radar. And autopilot. But I didn't up upgrade the fish quota, nor did I upgrade the storage. Just because I thought I'm not going to really need more than... 30 kg of storage, not as of yet. How wrong I was. <laughs> How wrong. How wrong I was. I'm definitely going to be doing that though. We definitely are going to be upgrading the storage for sure. Some more tuna. There we go, that got it. I do play a lot of different types of fishing games and I've played many fishing games and all of those you will find on the channel. Now I do like fishing with a rod in my hand, I, there's just something about fishing with a fishing rod in your hand and getting a fish, that, that's, that's pretty awesome. But this game itself, um, I really like it because there's so many different boats that you can have, there's different ways to fish, now you don't have a rod in your hand, no, but there is many different ways to fish on this game and there's so many different boats each boat does different things and i quite like that and the the picture quality the graphics on this game now for ps4 i've seen it on ps4 it's not the very very best on ps4 if i'm honest but on pc this game looks absolutely stunning it's good that you can up, uh, uh, crank up the graphics and stuff oh there we go we've got another swordfish here it is. Cool, we've got that one that's perfect as well. More tuna. I would prefer the tuna, to be honest, more than anything else, because the tuna obviously does bring in the most money. But it's nice to have a couple of swordfish, because, as I mentioned, I, didn't, I haven't seen them for a short minute. Not since I started the game, so... It's nice to see a few of them around. Again. Now on the game, obviously not in real life, but on the game, we are on August the 2nd, 2020 now. I can't re even remember what date we actually started the game originally, but we have definitely progressed through for quite a lot since then. Alright, some more swordfish. Oh, that one looks big. Tuna. And then we've got another swordfish as well. Missed it. Missed it. Is that, is this little thing here, it really does make it difficult sometimes. It's not like that on other boats, but on this boat, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze there, if I'm honest. Wow. I'm quite surprised about that. That was a very low amount of weight considering we had three fish, but 666.1 kg. Still better than nothing at all, of course, but that was definitely on the on the low side there. Now what we got? Some more swordfish. 
Looks like a bit of tuna there as well, yeah. Cool, we are filling this boat. And I wonder why the Andrea Gale is a proper fishing boat. It is for sure. This is actually my first time of um, since I the last video that I made on the boat. Uh, 766.2 kg. Yeah, the last video I made was buying this boat and we put out some nets and we did catch some fish but not very much. And yeah, that was us buying the boat. Since then, this is the first time that I've actually caught fish on this boat. Well, especially this amount anyway. I think uh, in the video of us buying the Andrea Gale, I think I got... It was either three or four nets of fish, and that was it. Now this one, we got we got 30 nets. Well, 30, not nets, drop lines. I don't know why I keep saying nets. Yeah, we had um, three, I'd say five at the very maximum. It wasn't even that, and I know it weren't, but five deep lines we caught. Whereas if this one, 32 lines with fish on. That's... That's a little bit bonkers, if I'm honest. But that's good, though, because if I had more storage, uh, I, I really don't know how much money I could earn in one day, in all honesty. I'm definitely going to be doing that, of course, after this video. I will be making another video on the Andrea Gale, and I'm going to upgrade the storage. I'm definitely going to upgrade the storage of it, and we'll see how much money we can get from filling it up once we got more more kilograms in weight for the boat but even still 30 kilograms 30,000 I keep saying 30 what am I even talking about right now 30,000 30, kilograms it's a serious it's gonna be a serious amount of money I was guessing last time in the last video that it was gonna be around about close to a million cash I reckon close to a mil and we will definitely see swordfish yeah oh no we missed that one there we go another swordfish is that tuna the last one i can't quite see that yeah tuna Alright, so we nearly, we're pretty close to 10,000 kilograms in weight there on the boat already. That last catch was 894.9 kg. Wow. A serious amount. I did also move my face cam up as well because I noticed in some of the videos that I've been putting, I you can't actually see how much I've been hauling and you can't see what type of weather or day that I'm fishing on. So I've adjusted the face cam a little bit. So you can see. That was just a lucky strike. I just did that randomly. I'm surprised I got that. Tuna this one. Not very much in there. That last haul was 641 kg but that takes us up now just over 10,000 kilograms in weight cool I'll tell you what since I got the up the engine up upgrade I don't know how fast the boat was before that because I just bought the engine upgrade straight away but wow this boat can this boat can move pretty quick I give it that I like that though that's good Oh, that was on target. I don't know why it said miss. That's what we need, that tuna. Right, so, so far we've pulled in 14 lines. That was a good hole, that one. 990.6 kg. So nearly a, a thousand there. I'm 
Let's see what we got. Swordfish. Oh no, tuna. Swordfish, tuna, tuna. <laughs> I really couldn't see that one. Yeah, I think they're all tuna. Again, that's really what we're after. Just because that's what's going to make us rich. See, even now, I've, even though I've got a very good, decent boat, and I do really love this boat already, there's so many other boats on the game, but they are crazy expensive. We are going to need to be seriously rich for that. I did also get stuck. I ran aground on this boat, which I've never done that on any other boat. I got stuck in the shallows, and I had to get rescued. And because I didn't have enough money to pay for it, it ended up saying that I have to repay back over the next 12 months, 115,000 every month for 12 months. So uh, be careful of the shallows. Don't make the same mistake as what I did. Right, so one tuna, one swordfish, and another tuna. That was a good hole, that one. 994.6 I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to bring all of them in I'm just I'm just going to be I'm just going to have too much weight and it won't let you carry extra so but I'm interested to see how much I can earn out of out of the nets out of the uh drop lines deep lines oh my gosh nets drop line what am I even not I can't even talk the drop lines, yeah, deep lines, that's the one. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh. Cog, yeah, I knew that one. There we go. Really does make it difficult, that bit. Not very much in that one, but... All adds up, 633... 0.6 kilograms. So this is the deep line number 18. Tuna, I think. I really wish I could move that wrench a little bit more to the left or right. I don't know if I can do that. It looks like it can be moved. I'm going to see if I can. If I could move that a little bit over to the right, that'd be so much better. I don't think I can, but I'm going to try. Can I move it? No. It looks like you could. But, no, it won't let me. That's a shame. Wow, look at that. I only just noticed that big massive fish finder there in the front. I didn't really pay much attention to that before. I was too busy looking at all the other stuff. That looks good, though. Slow it down. Ooh. So I'm looking forward to the winter side of this game. Again, I've mentioned that a few times because on the loading screens, I have seen it snowing. Yet, through, since I've been playing the game from, from the beginning, it's rained, but I have not seen any snow. So I'm hoping as the time goes by and we get closer to the winter, I'm hoping that Oh my gosh, come on Bubbles. I'm hoping that we do see snow, because that will be pretty cool if we do. Okay, that was a good hole, that one. 962.8 kg. Now we're going to pick up deep line number 20. <coughs> oh, oh. Oh wow, I didn't think I was going to get that in time. So far, so good though. Every deep line that we've been pulling in, 
Well, I say every, almost every deep line we've been pulling in. It's almost had three fish on every single one, so that's pretty good. Alright, that one was definitely a lot better. So that was 1009.4. That was a really good hole, that one. I feel like if there was storms in this game, I feel like this boat would definitely tip over. It's kind of tall. Yeah, I haven't ran it. I've ran, it has been raining, but I haven't ran into where the waves have been really insanely choppy and the boat's getting close to tipping over. I've never experienced that, but... It does say you can have insurance on this game for the, your boat, so I'm guessing, I could be wrong, but I'm guessing as we get closer to the winter, and uh, the weather changes that little bit more, I'm thinking that maybe the waves might get that little bit bigger and there could actually be a chance our boat could seriously sink. I don't know if, that's, if that is actually going to happen or not, but... We definitely will see as we progress through the game. And of course, if you've played the game before and you've got to that stage where you have actually had a boat sink from bad weather, definitely do leave it in the comment section below. I'd be interested to, to see that message from somebody saying, yep, I've had a boat sink because of waves. I'm definitely interested to see, see that message, if that is even such a thing. No, nope. more tuna. Okay, that was a good one. Good run again. Nine hundred and sixteen point nine there, and we're now going to pick up number twenty-three. Well, oh, slow it down, bubbles. Oh, there we go. More tuna. Get that tuna in, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no. I struck too fast. Whoa, no. No. <laughs> oh, that thing is... Uh, me and that, that pulley rope. We're not the best of friends. This is going to be the most fish that I've ever caught on the game in one setting. This definitely is. Uh, I think on the other boat it was... I think it was up to 20,000 kg and I did fill that up once. Only one time. I can't remember how much it gave. I think it was like about 300 and something odd thousand I think if I can remember. I think it was something like that. About 30... 30 kg of tuna and swordfish. That's going to be a serious amount of money. Oh, talking of swordfish. Oh my gosh. There we go. More tuna. This is how we fish. This is how we do it. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to... I don't know if I'm going to be able to... I might be able to pick them all up. Or pretty close to picking them all up, surely. Because this is number 25. And we got just over 20,000 kilograms there. Of fish. And that last haul was really good. Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> yeah. Nearly a thousand there. So, that was good. I'm surprised I got that. That one looked like a tank. There we go. That one looked quite big as well. More tuna. Seven hundred and eighty-five point one kg. 
So when you you catch, if you've never played the game yourself, when you catch fish on this game, and you get to the point where you've got too much, and you still bring those deep lines in, it won't. It, it will let you bring the fish in, but then after you've brought all the fish in, it will say that you've lost that amount of fish because you just cannot physically carry it. So it's probably better off going back to the dock, dropping off all your fish, coming back, re-picking up the deep line, and with a bit of luck you might still have the fish there. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, not as much in that one. 651.3 yeah you know what 32 lines we might actually be able to get them all it's gonna be a it's gonna be a close one it's good that I dropped 32 because normally as I said I do I have dropped I think it's 30 deep lines I've dropped before no it wasn't 30 what am I talking about it was I think it was 12 actually. Yeah, it was 12. That was the most I could run. So yeah, 12. But I've done it where I've got them and I've, I've gone back and I, I double calculated it to see how much money I'd earn in one setting. But I, could, I just physically couldn't carry more than 12 deep lines because the boat wouldn't let me. You can't rebate the deep lines once you're out here. You have to go back to... You have to go back to the dock to redo that, which is a, a little bit of a shame. But for this boat, for the fact that I can have 60, 60 deep lines all baited up, I could stay out here for a short minute. But I don't even think I'd be able to even put out 60 because I just physic this boat just physically could not hold that amount of fish. It's physically impossible. Anyway, that was 921 kg there in that last haul so that was a pretty good one again more tuna oh, we are getting rich out here boys we're getting rich there we go one more tuna as well I think yeah tuna there we go uh, 873.5 mm, there's going to be a close one whether I'm going to be able to hold all of it how much is that? oh no maybe is that 23 or 28? 23 cool wow that was really hard to to see that I, I might be able to do it next time though for the next video, I could maybe put out around about 40 deep lines, or maybe even 50. And obviously, if I upgrade the the boat storage to to the maximum, I might. Uh, yeah, I'm obviously, of course, I'm going to earn even more money. I reckon I could definitely put 50 50 deep lines out here. As long as I get more storage, that'd be a crazy amount. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that next video. Because that next video I am going to be putting out either, f I don't know, maybe even 45 lines. Um, anything between 40 and 50. We're going to put out a serious amount and we're going to upgrade the storage on the boat. And then we'll see how much we can earn. There we go, another swordfish, more tuna, and then for the last one we got another tuna again. There you go, you'll love to see it. Achievement progress, 100 swordfish, 25 out of 100, and we got 760.8 kg there in that last catch and we've got two nets left so I'm pretty sure I can get these last two and we are going to be very very close to, to
to 30,000 kilograms of fish. How much is it going to make us? That's what I'm interested to find out. That was a lucky strike. Oh, nice. And we got another tuna. That's what's going to make us rich. I'm surprised I got that. I honestly didn't think that was a hook. Okay. Our last deep line. That was 756.7. That worked out pretty good. If I put out much more than that, I wouldn't have been able to carry it back anyway, so... It was a good job I didn't. Oh, slow down. Slow down. Cool, we got it though. Alright, some more swordfish. Looks like a bit of tuna as well. Yeah, tuna. Wait for it. I'm surprised that weren't perfect. I really am. I thought that was dead on. There we go. Alright, 32 lines. That last hole was 715 kilograms of fish. Our total weight is 26,667. 76. <laughs> so pretty close to 30,000. Pretty close. Alright, let's head here. Let's fast travel. Let's see how much money we got for that. That's got to be a serious amount, hasn't it? Surely. Okay, so, oh no, wrong button. There we go, so let's have a look. Oh, wow, I did say close to a million. 898. 898, that's insane. Yep, we're definitely going to sell that. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that is going to be a very awesome way to, to earn some serious money. I'm going to really quick, let's have a look at the bar. Uh, swordfish, okay, we'll have that, swordfish, mackerel, yeah, we'll have those. Let's have a look, see where those markers are at. Okay, so there's one there, that's mackerel. Oh, we got, that's a new location of swordfish, okay, because we haven't seen that before. Okay, at least we found more swordfish, tuna there. I think that's pretty much it, I haven't really caught much up this way yet so definitely gonna go more up there I haven't so much up here neither so all right so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out as I said the next video we are gonna put a serious amount out let's buy the upgrade now uh, storage 150,000 that's plus 30,000 kg holy macro I didn't think it would be that much that's actually insane. We now have 60,000 of... Six, oh my gosh. 60,000 kilograms of fish that we can haul. That's insane. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be... Um, <laughs> I'm definitely going to be putting out a lot for that. Okay, so bait the deep lines. Uh, squid, herring. Uh, we got 32 unbaited. Let's get some more... Of the heron for the tuna because that's where the money's really at isn't it and then we'll get a couple more squid there we go wow that's insane we got 60 60 deep lines um well we sold there 26,676.1 kg of fish <laughs> That's definitely the most money I've ever earned in one in one trip. So therefore, that makes the Andrea Gale an awesome boat. It's going to make it even more awesome though for the next video for when I actually do get to the point. Yeah, there. That's where I ran aground. I got stuck on the bottom of the floor. So do be careful of that if you're going in there. Um, but where we just had all of that fish... That tuna was there at the wind farm. I've shown that location before. 
plenty of times. Very, very good spot. So I'm going to get busy. I'm going to get working on it. And uh, that's going to be the next video. We're going to see how much more tuna or how much more swordfish and tuna or whatever. We can, we're going to see how much. See if I can try to fill this boat to 60,000 kilograms of fish. It's going to be interesting to see. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave your comments below and I will try and respond to every comment. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.